Hello everybody and welcome to another Unity VR tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over uh, joystick locomotion so you move your joystick and it moves you in the direction your controller is pointing. I'm also using the Oculus plugin in this one so we have the OVR camera rig. Yeah, it's pretty similar to SteamVR. There's a couple changes and for the script I'll leave the changes in the description. But that's about all. We need a camera rig and we also need our body collision script from our last video. If you didn't see that video, you can go ahead and watch it back and you'll be all caught up. So once we have our body collision and our rigid body, <clears throat> we should be all good to go. So we're gonna make our script on the hand. So whichever hand you want, I prefer my locomotion on the left hand. I'm gonna go ahead and make the scripts. I'm just gonna call that joystick locomotion. <clears throat> and, uh, go ahead and open that up. <laughs> Since we're using OVR, we gotta say using OVR. Oops. There's two variables we're gonna need. We're gonna need a rigid body, and we're gonna call that player, and we're gonna need a float. Call that speed. Okay, we should be good to go. So first off, we're gonna wanna get the uh, axis of our joystick. And to do that, I'm gonna make a local variable. And call that joystick axis. And to get input in OVR, we say OVR input dot get. And since we need the axis, we do OVR input dot um, raw axis 2D dot left thumbstick and that'll get the axis of our thumbstick and now we need the controller so we do ovr input dot controller dot left touch since it's on our left controller and now we're ready to start doing our moving <coughs> so we need to say player dot position so it gets the position of our rigid body it's plus equal to now we're ready to start getting our joystick and our controller direction. So we want to get the left and right or position of our controller. So we want to do, since this is already on the game object, we can do transform dot, transform dot right, sorry, times joystick axis dot x, the left and right of our um, joystick axis and the left and right of our controller. And add that to transform dot forward <clears throat> times joystick axis dot y. The up and down of our joystick axis and the forward and back of our controller. We want to do outside the parentheses times time dot delta time times speed. So we can set our speed of how fast we're moving. <clears throat> and this works by itself. But with this, you'll be flying around if you point your controller up. So if you want a flying game, or say a spectator mode, this would work perfectly for that. But that's not what we're after, so we're going to go ahead and fix that. So we want to set the position of our player. We're going to do player.position is equal to new vector3. We're going to do player.position.x. And we're going to leave our y empty for now. And just do player.position dot z. Now we're gonna set our y manually just so there's no problems when it's doing this. So we're just gonna make a float under our joystick axis and call that fixed y. Make it equal to the position of the player. So player dot position dot y. We can go ahead and fill our vectors 3 in with the fixed y. And this should be everything you need to get going. We're gonna <clears throat> go ahead and save it and try it out. So we need our rigid body, so the main camera rig, and we're gonna set our speed. Just set that at two right now. We can go ahead and try it out. Okay, we're in the game. <sighs> you can see, if I point my controller to the left, I move to the left, point it to the right, 
move right, forward, and all that's working. And that's exactly what we want. So that's all for this tutorial. And the next one I'll probably be doing snap turns and smooth turns, another popular kind of movement thing in VR. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.